Oh yeah, that's really cool. That is cool. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Oh, cool. Oh, that's so cool. All right, I gotta do another one. I'm gonna change it just a little bit, but look how awesome that is with that real hot from down below. But the light on her is beautiful. With turning her away a little bit, then I get that really dramatic shadow on the side. One more of these, one more variation. I'm gonna pull it off just a tiny little bit right here. Okay, and turn it just a little bit. Tiny variation. You see, this is not a big difference from what I did before. Okay, and that same thing where you turn just a little bit like that. Fabulous, that looks so fabulous. I gotta come up just a touch, there we go. Good. Let's see what that one looks like. Great. I'm gonna do one more. Turn your face back towards me just a little bit. I got you turned a little too far. Drop your chin just a touch. Okay, yeah, oh yeah, there we go. That's it, perfect, that's a great look. Okay, all right, that should be cool. Okay, cool, cool. I gotta do one more. I have time for one more, yes, Will. You do. One more, because what I wanna do now is I wanna pump that power up in the background so that the hot spot's gonna get hotter and the, the shadow side is gonna get even darker. So if I turn that up, I'm turning up a half a stop. I'm gonna take this off to the side just a little bit because I don't want so much, I want a little more dark up in that corner. If I do that, let's see what happens. This is all fine tuning. Everything is about the tiny little fine tuning. One more, I really like that. That's fabulous, yeah. Oh yeah, that's cool. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I really like that a lot. Okay, so, so what does all this mean? Did I do anything really fancy here? Did I do anything that was really gonna be outrageous, that cost a lot of money, that you need to have $20 million worth of equipment? No. Okay, now, where we left off on that last section was we had this dramatic split lighting, but the shadows are really dark. So not every picture I take do I want those shadows to be really dark. And again, remember, the more shadow there is, the more dramatic the feeling is going to be. So what do I do if I want to lighten up those shadows? What I do is I use a pop-up reflector. Now there's lots of different things that you can do. You know what these things, they look like the things that you put on your car to protect your, your uh, windshield. Um, these are the pop-up reflectors. There's a whole variety of these. This one is silver on one side, white on the other. The one I'm gonna show you in a minute is gold, soft gold on one side. There's lots of variations on these. But what they do is they are actually catching the existing light and bouncing it back into the shadow. So it looks very natural, as opposed to adding a fill light, which is now two light sources instead of one. This has got a more natural kind of feeling to it. And I have a little video that I, I filmed yesterday just so that I can show you how easy it is to use these reflectors and how effective they can be. I'm gonna show you a really easy and effective way to use the reflector as a fill instead of using a separate light source. We have these beautiful shadows on the side, which really give us a lot of dimension and depth, but sometimes they're just too dark. So I want to fill it in. This reflector has a white side and a gold side. The way that you use the reflector is to catch the main light and bounce it back in. Wow, look at the difference. See how much that bounces light in? We control it just by moving it in closer or taking it further away. The further away it is, the softer the shadows, the darker the shadows, and it's a little moodier. If you have a hard time seeing it, take out the reflector, put it back in again. If you use the gold side, you're doing two things. You're adding a lot more light, as you can see, and you're also adding warmth. The warmth just kind of makes it a little softer, gentler feeling. Again, if I bring it in really close, that's pretty bright. So I want to back it up a little bit. That's pretty normal right there. That looks good. I can have just a little bit, so it's a little more subtle. Again, take it away, put it back. One last thing I want to show you. If you bring it from behind, if you're too far behind, then you're lighting up the side and you're not really filling in the shadows. So you bring it from the side or a little bit from the front, and then you can move it in effectively to get the shadows exactly where you want. That's really all there is to it. It's pretty easy. Okay, let me show you how you actually use this. What I have over here is I have a reflector on a stand. So this stand has got an arm on it. These are fairly reasonable, and the reflector just clips right in, makes it very easy to use. You can put it in different positions, angle it. I'm gonna start off where we just started with that first picture that I gave you. So let's talk a little bit about what this light does. This first light that we're talking about is called the glamour light. Basically what this means is that the light is coming straight onto the person's face, and it's symmetrical. It's the only one that is a symmetrical light. The effect of this is very dramatic. So let's go ahead and let's show this to you. When I place this light right here, 
the nose is pointed directly at the light and the light is just above eye level. So what that means is you're going to get shading on both sides of the face, a little shadow under here, but good light in the eyes. So now I'm going to do that photo that I just did again, this time without the reflector, so you can see the shadows a little bit better. Okay, Isabella, let's try this again. That's really nice, just like that. Beautiful. And there we go. So now you can see the shadowing a little bit easier without that reflector. You see the shading on the sides of the cheek. You see the shadow under here, but you also see that it's very direct. So what that does is give us this very immediate picture. You see this a lot in used in uh, glamour magazines, covers of magazines, celebrities. It is that glamorous feeling. You can use it for a man. It isn't common, but when you use it for a man, bring the light up a little bit higher, and that's going to put a little bit more sculpting on the cheeks, so it kind of gives that a little more edgy feeling instead of it trying to be soft and pretty. Okay. The second light is what I call the broad light. Now what this is, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to move this off to the side a little bit. So the broad light means that most of the face is lit, but I've still got shading on one side. So since I've pulled this off a little bit, now I'm going to have to, to um, just modify it slightly. I'm going to come over, this is one of the key things that I tell everybody. 35 years I've been doing this. I know, I started when I was two, but uh, anyway. Uh, Every time I come over and put my head right next to the model so I can see where the light is. So when I come over here, this way, when I'm like this, I can see, okay, this light is pointed directly at her. Behind the camera, I can't always tell that. It isn't always really obvious. So I always double check. <laughs>